said. COVID is a spirit. And that when that spirit is in people, even though the sickness goes, the spirit still remains. And with it, it brings a spirit of infirmity. So the people that have had COVID and were sick and recovered, they still are experiencing different things, different ailments, not, not like lung things, but some people are experiencing that, but different issues in their life, health issues, uh, cancerous tumors, uh, different things, a uh, prolapsed bladder, arthritis, different things that they never had before. And the Lord showed me, he said, what you have to do, you have to cast out the spirit of COVID and the spirit of infirmity out of the people. And so I did. I did it to this lady. And I felt the spirits all leave. Like when I'm doing deliverance from people like that, I can actually feel the demons leaving. And she was like, wow, wow. She was like relieved. And I go to the next woman, the same exact. Really? She said, I had COVID. It was like I was listening to the same woman speak again. Same thing. And so I prayed with her the same way. And so then uh, it was the end of the night. Maybe there was about 20 people left because this was now midnight. And I said, how many of you had COVID? And the people, the majority of them all raised their hand. So I led them all together through deliverance. And I felt like that's what the Lord wants me to do today. Good. Because many of your listeners have had COVID, recovered. But now every other thing they have in these different health issues coming up and wondering what's going on. I never had these issues before. It's because the spirit of COVID has to be cast out and the spirit of infirmity that that spirit of COVID travels with, okay? And that spirit of infirmity is bringing sinus infections, ear infections, strep throat. Oh, this other woman, shingles. You're getting all these that aren't related to COVID. It's because of the spirit of infirmity. I'm going to do that today. Yeah. Anybody want well, COVID? Okay. All right. Just, just follow me. Just in the, just say in the name of Jesus, I renounce the spirit of COVID. I renounce the spirit of infirmity. So just repeat that after me. In the name of Jesus, I renounce the spirit of COVID. I renounce the spirit of infirmity. Now I'll pray the rest. In the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of COVID and I bind the spirit of infirmity. And I tell you, in the name of Jesus, you cannot stay in anyone that has renounced you. Oh, they don't want you there. You've been found out and you must leave. So I say COVID, COVID-19, every variant of COVID. Oh, all spirits of infirmity. I bind you, I tell all of you, loose God's people now. Now give a breath out, just let them go. Loose his, his children now in the name of Jesus. I bind all of you, demon spirits of COVID and infirmity and a variance of COVID, and I send you to the abyss and I chain you there in the name of Jesus. And I say, you cannot return nor can you send any other demon spirits like you back to attack God's people. In the name of Jesus, I say this. I also am going to pray for people that are afraid from the, of getting COVID or okay. afraid of vaccine, okay? Because the Holy Spirit showed me that's an issue too. So just repeat after me. In the name of Jesus, I renounce and I repent for the fear of the effects of the vaccine on my life and for the fear of getting COVID in the name of Jesus. Now I'm going to cast out that fear. So in the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of fear of getting COVID, the fear of what the vaccines would do to you, the fear of sickness, death, and disease. Just say, I renounce the fear of death and disease in the name of Jesus. So now, in the name of Jesus, I bind all of you and I command you, fear of the vaccines, fear of the effects of what the vaccines have done for those who have had the vaccines, fear of catching COVID. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, fear of death and destruction, fear of death and destruction for yourself and your loved ones. 
I bind all you spirits now in the name of Jesus, and I say, loose God's people now in the name of Jesus. Just breathe out, let them go. In the name of Jesus, I bind every one of you, and I send you to the abyss. I chain you there in the name of Jesus, and I say, you can't come back, nor can you send any other demon spirits like you back to attack God's people. Now, in the name of Jesus, I loose health to everyone. I lose peace, and just receive it from God. Peace to your minds, and where there was fear, where there was trauma, turmoil. I lose peace. I lose health. I lose strength to your bodies. I lose healing wherever the enemy did damage to your body. I lose healing to you in the name of Jesus. I lose right now great faith. In God, that if God is for you, oh, who or what could be against you in the name of Jesus?